So, in this presentation, I will talk to you about Tonto Bellini letters, an ontology proposal for a corpus of letters of renowned music composer Vincenzo Bellini from Catania. More precisely, Tonto Bellini letters deals with the letters of Vincenzo Bellini kept at the Belliniano Civic Museum in Catania, the public institution that collects and preserves most of the musician's legacy. In fact, besides the letters, the Bellinani Museum includes many other objects related to Bellini's life and professional activity. There are manuscript documents and scores, books of the museum libraries, paintings, photos, pianos, and so forth. That's a very rich and varied cultural heritage. In fact, Otto Bellini Letters is framed within a wider project named the Bellini Rete Project, which aims at renewing and creating a lasting change in the exploitation and enhancement of the Belliniano Civic Museum of Catania, precisely. Bellini Rete stems from the collaboration between the Municipality of Catania, the CNR Institute of Cognitive Sciences and Technologies, ISTC, and the University of Catania's Department of Humanities. Now, I describe the main concepts involved in the Onto Bellini Letters ontology. Conceptually, Onto Bellini Letters is made up of entities provided with attributes and relations. What are entities? An entity is a form or representation of an homogeneous collection, C, of concrete or abstract objects within a given universe of the man or the discourse. Conceptually, an entity for the collection, C, consists of a list of features or properties shared by all objects in C. Then any particular tuple of values of these features, which is called an instance of the entity, is intended to uniquely identify a specific and well-determined object of C. Formally, a feature is represented by the set entity of its values, called an attribute. Entity attributes are basically divided into two main classes, atomic attributes and non-atomic attributes. Atomic attributes carry out a single, a unique, a structured type of information, whereas non atomic attributes are defined in terms of atomic ones and correspond to entities. That is, non atomic attributes coincide with instant sets of entities. For example, the collection of letters sent by Vincenzo Bellini to his father Rosario Bellini or to his uncle Vincenzo Berli Ferlito, where each letter is characterized only by its recipient and its written text, and the recipient is, in turn, the person characterized only by its first and last names, can be conceptualized as the entity consisting of the two attributes, recipient and letter text, the first one identifying the recipient and the other representing the text content of the letter. Note that the first attribute, recipient, is an anatomic attribute as it corresponds to the entity consisting of the two attributes, first name and last name, which are atomic attributes. Within the ontology, entities correspond to classes, ontology classes, whereas the relation linking an attribute to its holding entity is implemented by means of an object property. We conceptually represent the collections of Bellini letters as an entity, the letter entity. The letter entity involves various groups of attributes. The rare attributes that identify what a letter to whom the letter is addressed to and querying information about postal shipping delivery of letters. These include author, addressee, sender, recipient. There are even attributes about letter preservation and archiving, repository, inventory, collocation and title. Besides the letter entity, onto Bellini letters involve other entities and relations concerning such aspects as physical letter structure, letter text arrangement, and letter text content. Let me illustrate these three main aspects of Bellini's letter. Physical letter structure. Letter texts have written on sheets of paper, the letter sheets. Certain texts spread across two or more letter sheets, possibly glued along edges, and or lie on opposite sides, the front and the back, of the same letter sheet. Each letter sheet is conceptualized as a rectangle with its own width and eight dimensions, is made up of a certain material and has a given condition state. Opposite sides of letter sheets, the letter pages, are the elementary support units bearing letter texts. A letter sheet is identified with the pair front and back of its opposite sides. A letter page thus corresponds to an entity provider of the following attributes at least, namely the attributes dimension, condition, state, and material. Moreover, two letter pages may be related by the as opposite relation, meaning that the two pages are opposite sides of the same letter sheet. Letter text arrangement. 
A peculiar property of Bellini's correspondence is the presence within the same letter page of written text parts that follow in different writing orientation and all that overlap each other. These peculiarities represent useful information about writing modalities and preferences in Bellini's letters. We take care of them by conceptually wrapping the written text parts into two dimensional rectangular boxes, the W boxes that literally lie within letter pages. Then to each W box we associate the Cartesian coordinate system XY where the positive direction of the X axis follows the writing direction of the text within the W box and the positive direction of the Y axis goes from the baseline to the top of the written characters. Then we consider four kinds of spatial arrangement of relationships between any two W boxes A and B, namely A as right B, meaning that axis XA and XB have the same positive directions. A as left B, axis XA and XB have opposite positive directions. A as top B, axis YA and XB have the same positive directions. And finally, a as bottom B, axis YA and XB have opposite positive directions. In fact, from an examination of Bellini's correspondence, it turns out that these relationships between W boxes cover all possible cases of mutual arrangement of the various text parts in terms of writing orientation. Letter text contents. The text of letters, a letter expresses concepts and describes situations and facts about everyday life. Certain words occurring within letter text are interpreted as referring to relevant entities, the named entities, which it is useful to keep track of the information about their involvement into the various text parts. Named entities correspond to persons, places, organizations, musical works, and so forth. For example, Bellini sometimes uses diminutives for naming persons, such as, for instance, the word Carluccio, with which he refers to Carlo Pepoli the librettist of its opera, I Puritani. Named entities have their own attributes. There are the link attributes that provide external linkings to authority file entries and similar informative resources. There are even the characterizing attributes that are specific to the particular type of named entity. For example, the entity person, which is intended to represent uh, an existing or existed real person as the attribute for name, surname, add name, birth date and birth place with their obvious meaning. The Ondo Bellini letters ontology involves various domain specific axioms or postulates that rule the way entities are related to each other and how relations act. There are many axioms. Let me review some of them. For instance, recall that letter pages conceptually correspond to sites of letter sheets, and so, in particular, a letter page acquires the material and the dimensions of the letter sheet it is a side of. Moreover, two pages belong to the same sheet if and only if they are opposite each other. Therefore, we have the following two axioms, namely, if two pages are opposite, then they must share the same material. And similarly, if two pages are opposite, then they must even share the same dimensions. Next, we note that since a sheet of paper has only two sides, a letter page can have at most only one opposite. This is the third axiom. That is, the opposite relation must be functional. Moreover, this relation should be also plainly symmetric and irreflexive, namely, no page can be the opposite of, the, of itself axioms number 4 and 5, respectively. Finally, the last axiom concerns mutual arrangement of text parts that lie on the same side of a letter sheet in terms of writing orientations. We recall that text parts are conceptually wrapped within rectangles, the W boxes, and that we identify the four kind of arrangement relationships between text parts, as right, as left, as bottom, and uh, as top. Roughly, the axiom states that Two text pads can be arranged in more than one way in terms of writing orientations. Conclusions and future work. The Onto Bellini Letters Ontology concerns Vincenzo Bellini's letters kept at the Belliniano Civic Museum on Catania. The ontology scheme has been devised and formalized within the logical apparatus provided by the OWL2 description language. However, the schema is currently under refinement. The ontology has not been fully populated yet, as a subset of letters is under processing for the purposes of the formal extraction and analysis of the relevant information to be inserted into the ontology. 
completion of the ontology is planned for the near future. Thank you.